So Disney is greenlit for a fifth Orlando theme park. Disney has been greenlit for a potential fifth theme park in Orlando following a settlement with Florida Governor Ron DeSantis two months ago. The agreement approved by the Central Florida Tourism Oversight District allows Disney to invest up to $17 billion in its Orlando resort over the next decade. This includes plans for a fifth major theme park, two smaller parks, and additional hotels. The expansion comes after a two-year legal battle and is part of Disney's broader $60 billion investment in its parks worldwide. Okay, I had no idea that this was happening. I was talking about this with my husband and he's like, did you know this? And I'm like, no way. And he's like, yeah. And I looked at it and I was like, I didn't even know. Clearly I didn't either. I heard people talking about it like this weekend at the event. And I'm like, what? Like, I, I don't know if I've just been under a rock because there's so much yeah. in my life going on. Like maybe yeah. I just didn't, you know, I'm all wrapped up in, in moving and new jobs and all that. So I don't know. Maybe I just didn't know, but I am excited. Yeah, I am excited too. I almost wonder if they like started to put this in gear because of Universal and Universal's new I theme park. So. And, um, but yeah, so is, is it supposed to be in Orlando? Yeah. And it's yeah. So it should be a fifth gate in months. Orlando. So, you know, Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, Epcot, and then we should be getting a new one. So my question for you is, because I know what I want it to be. What do you think it should be? Like, what would be your dream park? Oh, I, I bet I know yours. Now that I'm thinking about it. What do you it. think? Villains? Yes, it has to be <laughs> villains. That would be so cool. Wouldn't it? Man, I don't know what else. I need some more options. I feel like a Pixar park would be pretty cool. Yeah, um, I do agree with that. That would be really cool. I don't know. I can't think of anything else that I can think of. Villains would be amazing. Pixar would be cool. What are some other ideas? Hmm. So I do, I, I can't take credit for this, but my aunt and I have talked for a long time. Like, you know, there's so many retired rides. Like we've lost mm. Mr. Toad. We've lost um, the great movie ride. But, you know, over the years, there's like lots of things that, of course, that's just the way it is. Things have to go away so new things can come in. But it would be cool to have a little section of like retro favorites, you know, that oh, yeah. you could experience those again, even if they kind of like remade them, made them a little more modern or, so, you know, whatever, but that you could kind of revisit those old things. Like maybe that could be like a section of, you know, the bigger park yeah. if there's going to be a new kingdom. I don't know. I've always thought that would be kind of cool. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, I'm excited. I feel like whenever I see the parks that are abroad i always get so jealous because they always seem so yes. much better than dis than our disney world and so i'm excited to like see what they do with this new park i am too that's my other thing that i think would be cool so i think it would be neat because I, we've talked about this before but for our new viewers or whatever so i've always said you know i know disneyland is like the true original but i do feel like disney world should kind of have the kind of flagship disney place in the world because i think like that's where you know walt's dreams truly came with magic kingdom and epcot especially and it's like to me that should be the pinnacle disney park mm -hmm. right now like tokyo disney shanghai they're getting really awesome stuff and sometimes i'm like hey like don't forget about the og here in america yeah. and part of me feels like we should get the most you know new awesome stuff and then maybe in other areas of the world they should get something that's almost like a spin on that so that of course like i don't mm -hmm. expect everyone that lives in you know japan or china to have to come here I do think, like, I wish that we would put more of a focus on, like, letting Disney World be kind of, like, the premier place for new stuff. I agree. That was one of, like, the things that I thought of reading this. I was like, oh my gosh, you know, the Florida is started from Walt. And, I mean, I know that obviously things have been changing since Walt's passing, but, yeah. like, having a new park that's not tied to Walt at all is kind of weird to think about. But at the same time, I think it could be amazing. Yeah. With the new, yeah, um, with all the like new, new ideas and things like that that they've like brought to the. What would you parks. think? What if they took all the stuff that they have like at Tokyo Sea and like you know rides that we don't have anything here like it? What if that stuff was incorporated? I think that would be neat. Like they have yeah. that amazing, like um, Beauty and the Beast ride. They have like so many cool, amazing things. So I would, I would love to see maybe like a section with like international Disney rides brought to us. So that yeah. would be really cool. I know I'm thinking of the animatronics on Tiana's. Aren't those animatronics from 
Shanghai or something. One of the other. I think so. Yeah, it would it would really yeah. be cool to like get more of that. Yeah. I'm excited. I am guessing that since the expo is this year in August, that they will yeah. talk about the specifics at the expo. So I hope so. This is supposed to yeah. happen over the next decade. Okay, so we'll see what happens. Wonder when they will. Well, we know this. Disney. They will build slow. Like Universal yeah. is like. Hey, we're gonna make a new park and it's gonna open in three months. But Disney's like, we're gonna make a new park and it will be open in 2046. So get yeah. ready, people. You know, like it's it's long, but I don't know. I mean, I do think they've they kind of have to at this point because I think they've spent so much time and money on new infrastructure that is hotels and specifically DVC space mm -hmm. that if they don't give us more park space, we're gonna, you know, it's it's always gonna feel uber crowded because they are, yeah. I think they've out resorted themselves at this point. And, you know, I know they did say some of the money is gonna go for new hotels and resorts. And I really hope that they put in some more moderate and value option because Me I too. think they're so catering to the high end now with deluxe resorts and DVC properties and villas and all that. And and I really would, because right now, like, I mean, we talked about it the other week, there's only four options for moderate, that's it. And really, you know, I mean, if we count the all-stars as one, three value options. So. I think maybe, you know, cause I like when Universal built their new parks, they did a really cool deluxe hotel, but they also added two new value hotels. Um, and I think they're just a little more tuned into wanting their audience to be a little more broad, not just the, the money mm -hmm. people. Yeah. Right. If they are really doing this because of Universal's also building a park and hotels, Universal is building a value resort, right? Two of them? Yeah. Two of them. So hopefully Disney is like, oh, we should do that too. But yeah, I'm excited. I think this is a good I good idea. Hopefully it's quick. Yes. But probably won't be. I'll patiently wait. No. <laughs> we'll be like in 76 and 90 <laughs> before it actually opens. We'll be there with walkers in a wheelchair or something. Yep. 